Uh, hello viewers and welcome to my channel and uh, today's topic is viral pneumonia uh, but before starting this topic i would like to request you to like subscribe and share these videos and if you need more information about uh, any disease any medical condition uh, you can visit our website that's www.diseasesandtreatment.com uh, and uh, uh, alternatively you can click the link in the description area uh, which will uh, take you to the website you know, viral pneumonia is uh, an in, uh, infection and uh, it causes inflammation in your lungs, you know. And the main cause of the pneumonia are the bacteria, or the fungi, the parasites, or the viruses. And uh, uh, this video is about uh, the viral pneumonia. It could be bacterial, it could be fun uh, fungal, you know. But the viral pneumonia is a complication of the viruses that cause colds and flu and uh, it accounts for about uh, one third of the pneumonia cases you know so it's quite common you know and the virus invades your lungs and causes them to swell uh, uh, blocking your flow of the oxygen you know blocking the airways and the many causes of the viral uh, pneumonia clear up on their own uh, within few weeks you know uh, but the severe cases can be life-threatening and uh, uh, you should uh, consult your doctor um, if you feel uh, uh, like uh, too sick, you know. And uh, the symptoms of the pneumonia occur uh, when your lungs become uh, inflamed as they try to fight off a viral infection, you know. And this inflammation uh, blocks the flow of the oxygen and the gas exchange in the lungs, you know. And the early symptoms of the pneumonia are uh, mostly they are flu-like symptoms, you know, and these include like a uh, cough with yellow or the green mucus or the fever, you know, and the shaking or the chills, uh, fatigue, sweating, and uh, blueness of the lips, which is uh, which is a sign that uh, uh, there is uh, uh, the amount of oxygen is low in the, in the blood, you know, and weakness. So these are the common signs and the symptoms, you know. And the viral and the uh, bacterial pneumonia have the similar symptoms, but uh, someone with viral pneumonia may develop uh, additional symptoms, uh, which may include like headaches or uh, uh, feeling more uh, kind of short of breath, you know, uh, muscle pain and uh, worsening cough, you know. And the children with the viral pneumonia may gradually show symptoms that are less severe and uh, a, a bluish tint, uh, to their skin may be sign of the lack of oxygen you know as I said earlier and uh, they may also have uh, loss of appetite or uh, uh, eat poorly and uh, older adults with the pneumonia may experience uh, lower than normal body temperature uh, dizziness and confusion and it's possible uh, for the viral pneumonia to quickly develop into more serious conditions especially uh, if you are in uh, high risk group such as uh, the people with the weakened immune system you know now the everyone who has some risk of catching the viral pneumonia uh, so so as we know that it's an airborne and contagious you know so you may have the higher risk of developing the pneumonia if you work or live in hospital or nursing home you know uh, your age is over 65 years and are under the two years you know and pregnant so these are the common uh, risk factors or the risk group areas you know and uh, having a weakened or the stressed immune system uh, due to HIV, AIDS, chemotherapy or uh, immunosuppressant medications uh, your also risk is also increased for pneumonia and its complications and the other factors may include like uh, uh, having a chronic illness like autoimmune disorders, you know, or heart disease, or asthma, or respiratory infections, cancer, or any condition that is being treated with the chemotherapy. And uh, recent viral infections are the smoking tobacco, uh, which damages to, you, uh, to the body's uh, defenses against the pneumonia, you know. And uh, the viruses uh, travel uh, through the air in a number of ways by coughing, by sneezing and uh, touching the contaminated surfaces. These are the common ways uh, the virus spread, you know. 
and the several viruses can lead to the viral pneumonia including like uh, adenoviruses, uh, chickenpox, uh, flu, uh, respiratory uh, like uh, syncytial virus which causes the cold like symptoms you know and these viruses can be transmitted in communities, in hospitals and uh, healthcare settings. Now pneumonia can uh, uh, be very serious condition for the people at the higher risk group you know and you should see your doctor as soon as possible uh, if you show signs and symptoms of pneumonia you know and you should go to the emergency room straight away uh, if uh, you feel uh, like symptoms uh, like confusion or rapid breathing and uh, a drop in blood pressure uh, difficulty in breathing and uh, a constant fever of 102 or over and the chest pain so these are the warning signs uh, if uh, you feel any of these or any of these uh, any one around you feel these kind of the uh, warning signs uh, you should uh, consider the emergency services straight away now uh, your doctor can uh, diagnose the pneumonia based on the physical examination and the history and uh, then he will uh, advise the further uh, tests to evaluate you know and uh, your doctor will ask you about uh, your medical history he will perform the physical examination which means that he will check the blood pressure he will listen your heart your chest uh, lungs and uh, he will uh, uh, look at your skin or the nails you know uh, to see if there's any sign of uh, cyanosis which is means that the low level of oxygen in the blood and uh, uh, like uh, he will notice any kind decreased air flow or uh, like uh, cracking sounds in the lungs you know and uh, wheezing with the breathing uh, the rapid heart rate uh, pulse you know and uh, then he may advise uh, uh, the imaging test like uh, x-rays you know and uh, the sputum culture uh, to test the secretions from the lungs you know and the nasal swab to test the viruses that are causing this kind of these symptoms you know and the complete blood count and uh, the arterial blood gas you know just to see the level of oxygen you know and the bronchoscopy so bronchoscopy is uh, uh, rarely needed but uh, it's helpful to diagnose the viral pneumonia and uh, but allows your doctor to uh, look uh, directly into the airways you know uh, to see if there are any changes there you know now there is a confusion and most of the people uh, confuse that what is the difference between the viral and the bacterial pneumonia you know the, the treatment is the biggest difference and uh, between the bacterial and the viral pneumonia you know and the bacterial pneumonia is uh, treated with the antibiotic therapy while the viral pneumonia usually gets better on its own uh, and uh, most of the time if there is no complication then you don't need any medication medicines you know and just the home care like uh, uh, drink plenty of fluids you know and the symptomatic treatment like uh, if you're having pain or fever you can just take the paracetamol you know or any other uh, non steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs like ibuprofen and it will get better on its own without any treatment but in some cases the viral pneumonia can lead to the secondary bacterial pneumonia you know and at that point you need medication the antibiotics you know and uh, your doctor may prescribe the antibiotic therapy and your doctor will be able to tell uh, if it has become bacterial pneumonia uh, by a change in your symptoms and signs you know and uh, uh, the treatment options uh, after viral pneumonia include like home care uh, medical treatment if needed and uh, you know the home care include like uh, uh, the goal is uh, to ease the symptoms you know and uh, as I said earlier if there is any complication like fever or any uh, body aches you know you can take the paracetamol and uh, uh, drink plenty of fluids you know and uh, depending on the type of the infection uh, you have your doctor may prescribe the antiviral medications to reduce the viral activity um, but these uh, this is very uncommon you know but if there is a secondary bacterial infection in that case you may need the 
antibiotic therapy you know, and your doctor will prescribe you the antibiotics for the treatment you know and uh, the viral pneumonias as we know this is, this is contagious you know and it can spread in much the same way as the cold or flu you know and you can take steps to decrease the risk of catching uh, pneumonia like uh, flu vaccine or uh, uh, you know the flu vac um, the virus can uh, can be direct cause of the viral pneumonia you know and uh, it's advisable that you get the flu vaccine you know every season especially if you are over age of 65 and less than two years you know and you are working in the hospital settings or any healthcare facilities or if you are teaching and uh, you work in the uh, like uh, schools you know so you are at high risk of so in that case you need the vaccination thank you very much for watching this video if you need more information about any disease any mental condition you can visit our website www.diseasesandtreatment.com and please do not forget to subscribe to this channel for more informative videos every day thank you goodbye